Okay, this here is a wooden box I bought for my daughter 15 years ago. She used to play with this when she was a little girl. Um, that was back when that movie Indian in the Cupboard came out and the little boy had a cupboard. He used to keep his little Indian toy in there and she loved it so much she wanted one. I couldn't find a cupboard like the one in the movie. This is the closest I could find, but she still loved it and she used to put her toys in here. And she even put the sticker on there back then and I kept the sticker. I just painted around it. And the box was just, it's a wooden box, and it was just brown. And I painted it a darker brown, and then I put on crackle finish. I used this crackle medium on there. And then when it dried up, I painted it with these two colors, this green and blue. I mixed it up on this little tray here and used this little spongy thing to paint it on there. That's how I got this look, this distressed look. And I also painted the handle. The handle I got this off from an old dresser drawer and just kind of distressed that as well. And right now what I'm doing is putting on this latch here. I have to nail this in there. And then I'm going to paint this the same way I did this up here. And then the handle, I had to drill a big hole in here because it was huge. The, I had this little thing underneath that stuck out and then you put the screw in. And I had to drill it with um, this here. So, oh, it's pretty thick. And then this I just screwed it in with the screwdriver. Still got to do that. And then I am going to embellish it with these one of these butterflies. I'm not sure which one I'm going to use. I got some flowers here, some neutral colored flowers. She doesn't like pink or anything like that, anything girly. So that's why I'm doing this neutral color. Yep. So this is where I'm at right now. So I guess I gotta get a move on here. I'm done with the latch. I nailed that in there and then I painted it. And then I Mod Podge this label on here. This label I got it from, I think it was a Hobby Lobby, and it's from the K and C company. And I put this little sticker on there with a little bird that says Dream. And this embellishment, it's a Prima butterfly. I had to cut the antennas because it was a little bit too long. And then underneath of the box, there's a little surprise for her. I left a little message on there for her. And then I cut out these little tags from some paper stock, and it says Taylor Made. And then I just, uh, the second one, I wrote her name on it. And so that's a nice little secret Whoa, message for her. And then, when you open it up, oh, and then on the handle here, I added on this little embellishment. I got that from the Hobby Lobby, and I just painted it with a touch of blue, the same blue that I used on here. And on the inside, I, this is, I Mod Podge this paper stock on here, and I cut it down a smaller than the size of the lid, and it had um, this picture on it with the scissors and the spool. And it had um, little pictures of buttons. So what I did is I just added real buttons over it. I just glued it on there. And then on here I just wrote a little message, a little message for her. Little nicknames that I used to call her when she was little. Actually, I still do. Then I mod podge this label on here. It says, "You are so special to me." And next to that, this is a magnet um, of a sewing machine and antique sewing machine and it, it came with these um, sewing needles on here and I just um, glued that onto here. I had to use the glossy accent to glue it on there because it wasn't sticking with anything else. I guess because of the shine from the Mod Podge. It wouldn't stay. And it's magnetic too so you can put other magnetic things on here. And then on the inside that's her sticker that she put on there 15 years ago. And I glued this button on there. I put these buttons on here. It's two buttons. 
because it was a nail sticking out there. It was actually bent, but still it was just didn't look good, so I put buttons over it. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut some scissors for her, some hand needles. This here is a patch that was hers when she was a little girl. She took Taekwondo. And a package of buttons. I bought this at Michael's in the dollar bin, dollar fifty bin. And it had all green buttons and I took some of them out and I added different colors. And then I added this little one here. It's a little owl. I thought that was cute. There's a few of them in here. I got the little button owls from Walmart. Oh my god. No, I didn't. It just fell. Oh boy, I'll have to pick that up. Okay, then um, wooden spool. I got this from Hobby Lobby in the Christmas department. Some thread. And then this here's a little box of mint. I just um, cut a piece of paper stock to the size of the lid and I Mod Podged it on there. And what I like about it is the measuring tape. It has her date of birth on here. So I thought that was cute. And then from there, I just have some little sewing implements, some little sewing supplies. And that's it. And I made it simple. I didn't put too much stuff on it because she doesn't like a lot of things and lace and frilly things like that. I was tempted to, but I had to stop myself. I had to put something on it. So that's why I put this little design in the front.